I give you kind of basic you know, principles and then process and then how you know, look at how you do and then oh let's do this on the next class and yeah you know, we yeah a little bit different from the school teaching but yeah you know, I try to uh read yeah you know, the whole participant you know, the, uh, the audience to get involved in this like yeah you know, the teaching or the class and yeah you know. so uh, maybe yeah uh, even though I don't hear from you but still uh, you guys have something in mind about missions so um, there is kind of mission and missions and then different views and then mission when we say missions and then usually we say describe all the best sending activities uh, everything is in, you know, in all we say, okay, uh, God sent the people to missions, and then that's a mission. So God sent the, uh, Abraham, and God sent the, uh, in, uh, God sent the prophet for uh, everything, right? And that's a, the God sending activity for the missions, and to redeem the people, and to bring all people to, uh, before that so it's a standing activity and then try to use someone and and use other things yeah you know. so that's the mission is in the world with the purpose of you know, reconciling to himself and bringing into his kingdom all of man and woman for every every people nation and tongue right that is so how we call the mission big categories right what about the missions? The missions. Missions is a described the various specific efforts of a church to carry out the task of a mission in the world. Usually related to the spread of the gospel and the expansion of the kingdom of God. Right? It, mission is from the God and the missions from the respond to the uh, uh, God's yeah, mission to carry out the God's you know, uh, the goal of the mission, right? And so like this, and missions and uh, missions is like, if you go to short-term missions, yeah? Mission, short-term mission, and then you're gonna do a lot of activities, maybe, and preaching, and the BBS, and teach English, and maybe street evangelism, and all kind of that is a kind of mission, maybe building a house like this. So yeah, it's a mission is so specific activity, but mission is a right, like this and all of the kinds of activity, right? The big category. So missions is a small yeah the individual stuff doing the church is doing to carry out the God's call. To missions, right? On the other, that is all you understand it. What about the definition of missions? How do you define the missions? Uh, there is a lot of you know, definitions out there, and maybe scholars have different definitions and. Uh, some counts, conference accounts has different definition and denomination has different different definitions and here is a definition that uh, John thought is really respect honoring honored men by Christians um, he's a great scholar and he passed away and then uh, he said the world world mission is a Properly a comprehensive word embracing everything that everything which God sent these people into the world to do. That missions is the same thing, right? It's a comprehensive and everything that God sent his people, churches and his people yeah, to the world to do that missions.
Whether you like the summer activities and you like and then the traditions. What about uh, Yoshimoto? Is uh, he is he said about mission like this and the mission is the people of God give witness to the reality of uh, God. Uh, the reality of God mean about God. And the church is as a sign, a foretaste, and the presence of a kingdom. Oh, no, 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 no. Sorry, sorry. Baron is a little bit different. Yeah, sorry. Uh, let's look at the uh, Roxburgh. Roxburgh said that mission is the people of God giving witness to the reality of God through church as a signs and foretaste and the presence of the kingdom. Oh, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Uh, what is the, yeah, what is the science and four taste and the crisis of the kingdom? We already said that the kingdom of God started by Jesus Christ when he came down and preached the kingdom of God and, right, already started by Jesus Christ. And then, ultimate kingdom of God, yeah, established completely, yeah. That's why when we say kingdom of God, already started, like, yeah, completely. When kingdom of God is completed, when the evil is uh, destroyed totally, there's no any war between evil and good. God is a uh, God is governing, and then that is the kingdom of God. But is coming. That's why. That's why we don't we don't see that we don't we don't know what is it like the kingdom of God. But still, we can taste a little bit before now. We can see the sign of the kingdom of God from the Bible and through our daily life, based reflecting Bibles, right? Then, so yeah, the mission to the people of God give witness to the reality of God, God's word, right? Through the churches. What about the uh, Yoshimoto and Mission, mission is a self sending creative and redemptive action of the try, uh, trying God. That is really, he means that you consider who is the uh, object, no, no, who is the ob subject of the mission? God. Protagonist is, a, protagonist is a God, right? Every mission. Uh, triangle, triangle, the Father, Son, the Spirit, right? And for the mankind is the world. Mankind is for the world and the world. They need God and they know God and need God and then come back to God, right? That's based on the what? Well, the mission is God's mission, not human, human, not the Church's mission, not the people's mission, God's mission. That's a very focus on that. The ultimate goal is to come to the completion of the kingdom of God and salvation of the people of God. Ultimate. Ultimate means that the way gospel is spread over the world to everybody and the what Jesus Christ is coming back. There is a goal, final state. Just think about this definition is not like you guys um, kind of doing a short mission. But short mission is a part of on this one. Just think about it's really uh, it's a, it's a self-sending activity so it's a belong to God, it's for the God. It's a part, it's really God wants to do us to do that, to reach out to people to bring back 
So the people, you are putting bad people to God. Right? That is the kind of showing the kingdom of God to the people who are in the God, Jesus Christ. That's a definition. What about another definition is, and uh, Larkin, and he said a mission is the divine activity of sending the intermediary, send the intermediaries of people and churches, right? Whether supernatural or human speak, or you know, speak or do God's will, so that God's purpose for judgment and redemption are further in the goal, further and further in finally is what I've been completed. Just think about when Jesus Christ and teach the kingdom of God and preach or teach the word of God and proclaim the uh, gospel, right? Kingdom of God and then the work is kind of uh, um, the work in you know, disciples, these 12 disciples and take over his work. And they keep going and going. Sometimes I uh, he was a supernatural, revealed the kingdom of God in one's life. But it's just the mission is going on to what? God's final judgment and redemption. And then just think about when it's at the kingdom of God, it's, uh, people don't know about them and, and getting further and further and further. So we are still, by, by his definition, still our missionaries go to other places, never heard about the gospel, and go and make our kingdom and further and further in terms of what? And place, space, and in terms of the other. Yeah, right? And what about the Charles Van, yeah? Engen, Engen. Charles von Engen, the mission is the intentional, in the in, a little bit different one, intentional crossing barriers from church to non church, more broken deal. It's not that intentional because it's from God. This is a achievement, yeah, coming up. Uh, obeying God's command. Mission is uh, yeah, uh, respond to God's calling. That's why, right? Calling a crossing the barrier intentionally, intentional. Mean that just think about the, if you live in the United States and then your culture is totally different from one of Africa countries, one of the Southeast countries. And you cross the barriers, cultural barriers economic barriers, political barriers, right? Language barriers. Face to non-face, face, real face to non-face, and proclaim the coming of the kingdom of God in the world and peace. Only the study of we are ready for the ultimate kingdom of God, complete, and proclaim the kingdom of God what? In your word, in your actions, show, say, and show. And what? Through church participation, Christians, there is no non Christian missionaries. In God's missions to reconcile people to God. And there, there is no believe God and they don't know God and come kind of the relationship separated, that's a sin, but through the process of word and deeds and bring people before God and let them realize that they, their relationship with God is separated and they tend to die forever, but there's a present now, the vision is present the way that they reconcile and live in God's kingdom, right? And so, so themselves, reconcile themselves, 
reconcile each other, maybe other people, and then world, whole world, even they are including the creatures and natures and what, and gathering them into church through faith in Jesus Christ. With the view to the transformation of the world. Because the gospel is going and then the world is transformed. People are totally torn to the God and their culture is changed, their heart is changed, right? The transformation. As a sign of a coming the kingdom of God in Jesus Christ. That's a mission. Oh, I like uh, that. Yeah, previous mission is like uh, really, I know that we acknowledge that God is the uh, the subject, the protagonist, the protagonist of missions and subject, right? God is a subject, right? God is the, yeah, God is the one who do missions. That's why we call the God's mission. And we cannot see the God, but God called people, God called churches and already what? He gave them commandment, right? But still, He is you know, uh, called people who willing to do that. Let us uh, think about what is the goal for well, completing the kingdom of God. Well, we can learn from the, this definition. It's a, Mission is not for us. Start from God. It's God's mission. But what is the goal? Reconcile the people with God. And God's kingdom is growing, growing from further and further. Wow. Eventually, complete the kingdom of God. What is God's kingdom? God's kingdom? Yeah, last Saturday we talked about the kingdom of God. That's the Bible study. What is the kingdom of God? A lot of people say, I'm gonna go to the kingdom, kingdom of God after I die. So it's a it's a kind of well, it's a geographical definition that so place that we 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 go later. But nowadays we interpret the kingdom of God as what? Well, who started the kingdom of God? Jesus Christ already started. But we, so kingdom of God is, a, is there any place that God's way is there in the days of God's kingdom, even though it's not a complete one. Right? So we are under God's reign and then we are the kingdom of God's people and we are living in the kingdom of God. But ultimate, ideal, and complete kingdom of God is coming in that we are there's no more evil, no sorrow, right? No tears, no violence, hurt. Yeah, that's the kingdom of God. So um, sometimes people are really irresponsible for their life as a Christian because they are thinking about, oh, I'm gonna go to king, yeah, I'm gonna go to heaven after I, ever, yeah, after I die. But they really don't taste the kingdom. Well, they don't really taste the kingdom of God. Kingdom is right now here when we are under God's reign, we can taste. Misunderstanding and kind of a meeting really distort the doctrines and then bad influence to the world. Right? So remember the mission, when you think about mission, is that that's God's work, not our work. Our work is a job is just to obey what God really wants to do. There is a lot of way that we can uh, carry out, yeah, we can participate in God's uh, yeah, mission, like 
education, like uh, uh, church planting, like uh, world mission and there, as a uh, helping the poor. I like and maybe Sunday school and a lot of different ways, but we gotta think about it, which for which really when we do and really God like the so uh, activity deeds that we are doing. Right? It's for them or it's for us. We gotta think about it. So uh, through definition, uh, definitions, and I want you to remember that mission is God's mission. Start from God, and God's doing, and complete. God's going to complete. God's mission. Well, we're going to talk about that later, a little bit later, right? And that's the basic definition that we need to know. And uh, we're going to... Uh, see, I don't know whether you guys have heard of it, God, uh, God is a missionary, missionary God. Have you heard of it, missionary God? Like this, and missionaries or missionaries and they think that God is a missionary, missionary God. And their perspective is see as a missionary, see how God is moving the whole world, and how, how God is prepared, and how he is, yeah, and then, and yeah, execute, and how, how he's gonna do. Mm, people who really emphasize evangelism, like yeah, I already taught an evangelism class, and they said evangelist God. Evangelist God. It's the same. Right? And that means that uh, when we read the Bible, and there is no clear word about mission. God of uh, yeah, God prepared mission and this way. God, uh, God did something for mission. Like there is no word, but still, everything is God's sovereign plan, and He's doing something for to save the Lord. people, to bring the people and nations and every people to for Him. He planned it. That's the Old Testament and. New Testament, Christian, Jewish, yeah, Judaism, and Jewish people don't believe it, but uh, we believe that what? The kingdom of God started on Jesus Christ, and Jesus, uh, God opened the door to reconcile people to himself, right? There's a mission, and then the rest of the part and his one complete. And this time so we're gonna think yeah, quick through about how what is how God prepared and sent and uh, uh, has done the mission, right? In in the Bible, not in history and history in the Bible. So this is a uh, biblical foundation of mission. So uh, let's see. Uh, I know it's a whole semester class, the lecture, but we're gonna we're gonna go over quickly and then give give you all cut this this one a uh, basic idea about how God prepared about missions. And let's think. Yeah, first of all, let's think about the Old Testament mission. And beginning in the beginning, just think about how God created the humans and human beings, and then whole nations. And think about the origin of nations. When God created the world, and then everything is good. It's a harmony, right? It's a perfect. And between God and humanity. 
people live in the garden that God created for them, but there was a, there was a kind of covenant between God and human being and the what Adam and Eve and then okay you can do whatever you want for one thing. It means that the the you cannot eat the fruit of the what tree in the in the center of the garden. That's one covenant. Because God wants the human being have a responsibility for and their freedom, choice of freedom. And human beings is not a uh, like a robot and then uh, think and choose and uh, make a choice. That is the day of freedom, right? Free will. But uh, if you read chapter 3, Genesis chapter 3, the covenant relationship is broken and, and because the, the, at the Eve and evil got deceived by the serpent and she ate the fruit and then uh, gave to his husband and ate the fruit together and then husband blamed Eve and then his wife and uh, 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 Eve blame a serpent and the what? And serpent and Eve and man are cursed. The harmony is uh, broken, not anymore, and they expelled from the garden. And the, if you read the Bible, and the what? The serpent, they yeah, in the fall, and they have to kind of slide on the ground. That's the, and but eventually he tried to he kind of hurt the human being by what? Just a heel, and then squeeze and trampled the later and trampled by the someone. Yeah, the and. Eventually, right? That's a uh, uh, even though the serpent, the, the, if you see that the world be in the Bible and they always uh, good and evil fighting together, right? And God is always good side, evil is Satan is against the God. And maybe you can see the how evil is out there. And God is kind of give them choice, right? Freedom, right? That's why right, that happened. Evil came from that one, um, and and woman uh, had kind of a childbearing pains and the delivery pains and then kind of stuff. And man should had uh, should work for their living. That is a kind of a uh, uh, cursed and and ground is it cursed and then whole nature is cursed and just think about there's no killing each other biting each other but after that and yeah the sin came into the world and harmony is broken and then yeah unbalanced and then something's happened right and but uh when they got seen and then what well, they found out they they are naked and then they covered their body with the fig tree and sold the fig tree and covered the body of the uh, from far and and but when they got later on God saw them and when they expelled from the uh, garden God made a skin uh, skin clothes and then uh, uh, give them right and then that was that so that is, yeah, and Genesis 3, 22, and the Lord made, yeah, Lord made, uh, the Lord God made for Adam and for his wife garment, uh, garment of skins and clothes them. He symbolized what? Uh, it's an emblem that uh, God's going to eventually, uh, ultimately, yeah, uh, what's the provision of what? To, yeah, to cover 
that took them to cover computer scenes like just animals, skins, and my skin mean that uh, there's need blood, right? And they don't need to be dead. There is a death like this, and then eventually, yeah, uh, through that one, and God's gonna uh, do something, right? That is yeah, in the beginning in the original nations and how it started, how uh, the problem started. And there is a study um, after that, after the fall, and God had a plan. And how can I bring back this people before me? To me, right? That's God's plan. How he started. God chose someone. And through someone, he made a nation to deliver the gospel. That's God's plan. So, someone who, who, got, who God is told? Who did God told? Should I choose? That is a little like Abraham, that we really said the patriarch here, uh, superior in Abraham and what Isaac and Jacob, right? That's a, that's the uh, God told Abraham, Abraham and then uh, promise blessing to nations. So, just a human media, mankind is there and then, and that's kind of representing. And then just think about from the fall and God, how recovered the relationship with God, not just the uh, Israelite, right? Not just the Israelite, the whole nations. And then who could see that God's plan is and then and, uh, through the Bible and then I, I think I, I had a Bible verses. Oh, oh. And here is the Genesis 12, 1 and 3. So God started, his plan started with Abraham. Redemption history, right? Now the Lord said to Abraham, Abraham, and it's not Abraham at the time, Abraham, and Abraham, go from your country and your kindred and your father's house to the land that I will show you. Just left your home, left your father, your relatives. And I will make of you a great nation. God said that, that's a promise. I'm going to make you a great nation. I will bless you, make your name great. That's God's blessing. I make you, yeah, I bless you, make your name great. So that you will be a blessing. Just think about he, the Abraham, gonna be a channel of blessing. Through Abraham, people are blessed, right? And verse three, I will bless those who bless you, and him who dishonor you, I will curse. I will curse. In you, all the family of the earth shall be blessed. What? All the family of the earth shall be blessed. There is a, 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 a first again, a, the, the concept of nations. God is not just a, uh, one of the, is God for the, uh, kind of combined to Israel. Always see he cre he created the creation and then the cover the relation is broken, but he starts again to live with the people. That is so uh, yeah, if you read and then uh, Genesis and uh, you can see uh, how start the, the Abraham family and then uh, Isaac and then and 
he and then Jacob and he and Sarah told his children. So think about how they growing and then they they moved to the uh, Egypt and then stayed there for four hundred years. And when they came out, they, they made a big nation, Hebrew, right? That's a, yeah, that is a, a Genesis and then what? Uh, Exodus. Yeah, they had, they, how they got uh, out of the Egypt by God's wonders and signs and wonders. They protect them, they keep them, they provide the Israel. And then on the way, up and down, a lot of happening. And then when God uh, taken up the strawberry and take a you know, kind of journey to about four years to get the promised land, and then what? And God gave them law. Mount Sinai, but yeah. The Ten Commandments for the himself for the communities, and then there is a specific law. Why they give them law? If you read Leviticus and about how you guys uh, kind of uh, uh, sacrifice. Because of this one, because of this one, because of sin, because of thanksgiving, and yeah, how can you make a sacrifice? The basic law. And uh, people who manifest that God's glory and righteous and the Lord, all the Lord among the nation, that's the, um, uh, that's the implication of the law. How can you live holy? How can you live right? Yeah. How can you live righteous in your community? So that is reflecting coming to the kingdom of God. His people, that is given, law is given by God. Here it is said that, and I, I just got two verses from the bottom, and you guys may find all of the verses, and then Exodus 19, 5, 6, Now, therefore, if you indeed obey my voice and keep my covenant, you shall be my treasured possession. Treasured possession. And then the God told the Israel, among all peoples, among all people, not for the earth, around the people, for all the earth is mine, because all the earth is mine, and you shall be you shall to, yeah, to me a kingdom of priests. Kingdom of priests. Priest means the kind of uh, interplanning between uh, mediating God and the people who are sin and they worship the God, right? They conduct all stuff. And then holy nation, one of the nation, holy nation, righteous because of the law. And there are the words that, words that you shall speak to the people of Israel. And God told Moses. Look at the God's plan. In other words, it's uh, similar in uh, Deuteronomy 26, 18 to 9. 9 is, and the Lord has declared today that you are a people for his treasured position treasure the possession to Israel. And he, he has promised you and that you are to keep all his commandments and that he will set you in praise and in, the, in fame and in honor high above all nations that he has made. All nations. That was the time of uh, uh, Moses. It's a time to go and, then, and another the Joshua take over the leadership and take it, the Israelites to the promised land. And then that's the, the farewell speech of the uh, Moses. Moses' a farewell speech. Same thing. Remember, remember what? Keep all his commandments. And then he will send you praise and fame and 
honor high above all nations. That's why I use them. Why? Then you shall be people holy to the Lord your God and as he promised. That's why the keeping the word of God is very important in showing the Wakas of righteousness and holiness. Thanks a lot, and Leviticus and uh, uh, Deuteronomy kind of repeating and remind all things. And you can see, and after that, and Joshua kind of, uh, kind of uh, conquered, uh, conquered, and then what? Well, the promised land, and still. On and off, on and off, they are struggling in life, and then they don't keep the word of God, and you know, all around the enemies, and people are invaded, and, and they called God, and then got help, like kind of up and down life. But there is a song. Song is, yeah, there is a song, and they use the song, and they worship God. What's the purpose? Psalms purpose is what God is worthy of the worship of all nations. It, it, that's a projecting. Psalm is projecting to the people. Yeah, the first king, uh, eight of uh, forty-one forty-three, and said that. Uh, Likewise, when a foreigner who is not of your people Israel comes from far and far country for your name's sake, and what? For, the, for they shall hear of your great name and your mighty hands and of your outstretched arm. God, when he comes and pray toward his house and hear in heaven your dwelling place and do according to all for which the yeah, foreigner calls to you, calls to you, in order that all the people of the earth may know your name and fear you, as they, as as do your people Israel, and they may know that this house that I have built is called by your name. Yeah, and the Israelite, the Israelite, what well, they are chosen people. They are chosen people. Why? Uh, so that what well, the Gentiles, well, not Gentiles, the foreigners, even though they are what well, uh, uh, not a chosen people, and God said it, they can be what well, stay inside of them. And they can worship God. Through them. That's amazing, though, right? Not that just Jesus Christ said, okay, preach the gospel to all nations. God already mentioned. God's going to judge the all nations, and God's going to bring the all nations to him. Just think about the place, temple that they built. It's not for you, but for them also to remember God, to worship God. Right? And if you see the uh, Psalm 67, um, attention to the structure of the Psalm 67, here's one of the analysis yeah, I can share with you. And triadic analysis, and then there is a, yeah, it, uh, the one of the skills to uh, describe how they deliver the message, and then there's a triadic yeah, structure in the beginning, so A, B, C, D, and then what's the central point, and all the way middle, and then the, and then repeating and C, uh, D, C, A, yeah, same pattern, pattern of it, yeah, uh, from part. Here is a uh, uh, Psalm uh, 67, and then look at the verse, 
look at this, and then verse 1, God is merciful to us and will bless us, cause his face to shine upon us. And verse 2, that you may your salvation may be known to earth. That is not complete, but I just bring it. And then verse 3, let the people praise you, O oh God. A, B, C, like this. And but that, that's your central idea, the uh, uh, idea in verse Oh, let the nation be glad and sing for glory. It's kind of worshiping God, all nations. Let the nations. For you shall judge the people righteously and go with the nations on earth. That's a, it's not just Israel people, right? And then just repeating the C, let the people praise you, O oh God. Verses 5 and verse 6, and, and the earth shall be yield hope in Crete, right? The, uh, B, you know, B dash, and then the, the you away, and you shall be known to us. Known to us. Not the limited like this, in Crete. And then God is merciful to us and blesses us. God bless us and the earth shall be healed. How to God's plan though? Can you see that? It's not like God's plan is a kind of for, for redemption. You know, people fell, they are fallen away and God plan to save them. That we call a redemptive history. That's one of our uh, God's plan that is already shown in, to the Israel. It's a really simple version that one. And what? Well, bless us, verse 1. And that one is a kind of Jewish scholars, and that one bless us. And so the earth we know. Praise God. And that the nation rejoice. And first by praise God. And, and the earth is blessed, known and blessed. And God bless us. God will bless. Same structure. Right? So God's plan is already there. Even though that will kind of, if you read the Bible, and because God chose Israel. There's a lot of things going on because of the their number train of they don't uh, follow yeah, they don't observe completely the word of God, right? They don't observe, they don't follow, they don't keep the God's word completely. That's why. Just think about the uh, it's really enough. And we can go back. What about the prophet? And then after that, and then some after that, and there's a lot of uh, yeah, uh, so God sent the yeah, prophet to yeah, turn his people coming back to him, Israel, because they turn away from God. Right? The prophet, the prophet is the as yeah, there is as cosmological call for the nation mean that as as cosmological mean that it's coming, the last the end of time is coming. It's not now. That's why turn back to God and God bless you. That's a hope. It's not just rebuking, but always a hope is there. If you read Isaiah, and yeah, recently I finished reading Isaiah with my wife, and in the beginning, always judgment is there, but always hope is there. Right? That's what we call it. That's the, yeah. Just think about judgment, the final judgment. And judgment that what we, yeah, for what we have done. Before his yeah, eternal kingdom going to the eternal kingdom. There's a prophet, so the eschatological vision of the nations coming to 
Yeah. Coming to yeah, coming to them to worship and learn from the Lord. Right? And look at this, and then uh, if you read the prophet and from Samuel to Malachi, and then you can see that, and God's going to do to the nation, for the nation. It's not just a blessing. If they don't believe, if they don't come to God, God's going to do to them. And first day, God's blessing is there. There is a God said that, oh, there is a uh, ideal and servant who reigns, and we said that that's Jesus Christ. And there is a servant to be witness to the nation and then uh, sacrifice the death of the servant. The Jesus Christ. And the foreigners doing the Lord we already read and the uh, light and glory of the Lord drawing to the nation. Right? And always on this uh, Israel is blessed to the nation and message to the nation and the Israel relation to the nation, the messianic kingdom is a Zechariah. Messianic. Especially the donuts message to the nation, even yeah, God sent what? And God sent the prophet to uh, proclaim the word of God and to repent. And then they respond, right? They repent and come back to God. Then Jonah was very really mad because they are Gentiles. Even though sometimes they are chosen people and like Jonah and really mad, oh, what if my people? And they, even though it delivered the God's message, and then what? They always, uh, the prophet or the Israelite, Israelite have the words of, uh, they have already um, always a privileged people, nations. We are chosen people. That's why they are really happy. But God said, and look at this, the verse is not all the time. God will not bring the all nation before me to me. You are the mediator. Right? Just think about it. And then the prophet said it. You know, coming times, what's going to happen, right? So, if you see that the Holy Testament, and always got to think about all nations after the fall, and then all nations, how can bring the people back to Him? That's why we call the centric, uh, centric, uh, central Peter force. When you move, or whole is moving, and what? Well, kind of, just think about you are, uh, 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 you are spinning something, and then what? Well, force is uh, here, and then they don't try to go out. The forces go out, but central people can go out, but still hold, move. Power is uh, moving in because there was a gravity inside. That's why, and through Israel, Israel, and Temple, and Zion, the new coming figures, and the what? All nations are coming to, uh, from four sides, west, north, south, east, and they have come to the, here, to God, worship. That's the Holy Testament. Really, really, what? Israel, and Temple, worship place, and then, you see the yeah, you you see it's a really wow central and people are coming back. God's gonna bring back them. God never forget the wow all nations, even though they don't know what. Wow. Right? That's the old testament. What about the new testament then? Let's go back, yeah, let's go to the, uh, 
missions in New Testament. It's really brief summary of the, the how God will coordination mission, that missions. And oh, New Testament is a little bit different from the well, Old Testament. Old Testament God's will call them, you know, right? That's a central Peter, but oh, New Testament is a kind of a decentralization and or this, you know, this, this fusion of the missions. And if you read and uh, Act 1, and then when Jesus Christ, what did he say Jesus Christ said? I'm going to read it yeah. Jesus Christ said, hey, look at this, how it yeah, works and then but if you receive the power when the spirit has come upon you you will be my witnesses the mission is witnesses witness in God witness Jesus Christ in Jerusalem in Judea it's a little bit bigger but Jerusalem is the top of the city and Judea is the bottom of the area of Israel and Samaria is like a uh, left side of the uh, the uh, Jerusalem is say here, and then this part of the, like Mediterranean area, the middle like uh, a waste, and then the end of the earth, the end of the earth. Eventually, and uh, the was the God's people was a uh, wow. The kingdom of kingdom of God, you know, the, uh, the God is gonna um, uh, proclaim the kingdom of God to all the people, right? All the people. How God started this one, and if you read, uh, yeah, read and. Um, Acts chapter 7 and then Jewish you know, the scribes and Jesus has a new movement, religious movement, and they uh, see the society different way and they ridicule you know, the priests and scribes and Pharisees who doesn't have heart for the God. They have all and ceremonies and they keep the laws, but there is no heart. And they and they well, and Jesus Christ died, and then people are followed the lesson of Jesus Christ, and then and they persecute people follow of Jesus Christ. People are scared, scared all over the reason. That's one of the ways that God did. Oh, it's from the persecution. The disciples, not 12 disciples, disciples scared around the reasons. Interesting, right? Sometimes God used the way that we don't like. I think of persecution, a lot of people died, we had to step in. And they had a blasphemy and Defend God's name and they stone to death. Still, the Muslim countries, a lot of Islamic countries practice it, right? The same cultural ban. So, and uh, Jesus Christ said, said that, and, but Act 7, when Jesus Christ is gone, and I'll send you to heaven and they were and still just happened. And if you read in the Bible and then people are gathered together and still working and and you can see and feel it and uh, share the gospel with the Samaria and then teach the gospel in the image of Ethiopia and Ethiopia and then right. 
So in the beginning, just think about disciples get a trigger and then and some things happen and then do ministry and then they got prisoned, they got beaten by you know, pri you know, priests and you know, Pharisees and scribes and and but still keep working, uh, keep doing the, uh, their work and they want and then the well, people are scattered and then moved around the region and then Antioch is there is already church was established. Gathered together and they are different from Romans, they are different from local people's religion, they follow Jesus Christ. It's not a good name though. People that why call the Christians who follow Christ. If you read chapter 13 and there is an Antioch. Church is already there. Maybe the society, I mean, they're, they're not going to Roman culture, Roman religion, they're not belong to the local religion, but they follow Jesus Christ and they kind of be mocking the people. And then, but they follow Christ and they name the Christians. And then the place become a what? And Paul and Barbara, they send the missionaries, the mission center. The baby camp of missions support and send people. Later on, that's why Paul has four trips to reach out to the area. We are military and then like a, now it's a Turkey and Rome and he made four trips. In the beginning, he tried to uh, share the gospel with the, the uh, diaspora community, Jewish community. Diaspora, they are Christian, but they still practice the Judaism. And uh, try to go and then talk to them and teach them the word of God. And later on, really like in Turkey, and he uh, yeah, uh, he was the seven church of planted, seven church of planted. Yeah, teach go and yeah and preach the gospel. And then one of yeah, the city, Ephesus, is become a uh, center of the missions. And then uh, Paul stayed there two years and teach them, teach them, and sent yeah others to other places around the region. So all people heard, around the region, people are what? Heard I, the, Asia, the, the region of the Asia and they heard of the gospel. Because Paul there and then there's a really big center to around the reach of the people and sent. If you see the, the history and then there's a lot of seminary centers like um, group of people and send out. That's a New Testament. And New Testament testimony is not, a, not to sustain the Jerusalem and go outside, a little bit, go and uh, further and further. And when you see the uh, how God spread the gospel to the whole nation, nation and then you could see the history how I already put the uh, kind of clips and then you could see every year and then uh, how uh, spread the gospel to the world. So if you yeah, just see the how kingdom of God is uh, 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 reframe. Just in, in the beginning, so Jesus Christ, people the promise and Jesus Christ uh, started for after Jesus Christ ascended, and what happened? The Spirit in charge and the so a little bit up, and then there is a uh, reframing of the kingdom of God, it's a movement of the spirit, right? 
and the spirit of all the world are missionaries, Paul's and disciples and other disciples. So, and the kingdom of God is a, a, a emanating from the spiritual center or renewal. If you see the Matthew 13 and then but kingdom of God is not complete, but only the starting from Jesus Christ and keep going and moving by the Spirit. The New Testament not only the decentralized mission, but also uh, denationalized and reframes of the kingdom of your kingdom in terms of spiritual nature under the rules of the messianic king. Mean that just think about denationalized and uh, if you believe Jesus Christ, we are brothers and sisters in Christ. That's a, that means that in terms of the spiritual nature, if we are under uh, rules of the Messianic King Jesus Christ, then they are, we are the brothers and sisters. If you don't believe, we are not. So our there is no or racial issue like in the United States, we have a lot of issues, but there is no ethnic issues, but different ethnic groups are fighting each other. There is no discrimination that we are experiencing. Here. There is no partiality to be saved, not for the just the Israel, not for the just the Israelites, right? How do we reframe? Re reframe. Compare it to the New Old Testament, with the New Testament. Kind of opposite way. It's like beginning, God chose and made a great nation. God used, God's going to use them to deliver the gospel to the world, but they don't. And through them, God said, God's going to call the uh, Gentiles and then they will come to worship eventually. But New Testament Jesus Christ and well, the gospel is spread out. People are willing to go. Right? So there is a uh, kind of a uh, uh, mission is decentralized and decentralized nations and the yeah, transculturalization of the new kingdom people. Transcultural. Where is the culture we are waiting for? Every people's group have their own culture. What beyond their each culture and we could say kingdom of the God's culture is. Right? That's a kingdom of God's culture. And there is no any um, marginalized and alienated and, and singled out, ruled out, singled out, and there is equality. Equality. There is equality. And just think about uh, there is we are cultural liberalization in God's kingdom. Yeah. Nowadays we are on the way. That's why it's still it's conditional, and every culture has their own things. But still, uh, some of some cultures don't accept Jesus Christ, and they have their own things. But in that time, there is no, right? There is no. What about Jesus Christ and nation? And. Jesus Christ, yeah, and uh, if you see the, the life of Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ said it a lot, uh, proclaim the kingdom of God to the chosen people of Israel. But eventually he go to other regions, the Gentiles, and Gentiles listen, yeah, listen, and Samarian uh, woman, a woman who met at the wall, and then that was Samarian, and then, Share the, yeah, 
uh, showed himself and she, uh, she believed. But what about his thought? It's not for the privilege group, as he know, to the people who are marginalized. Also, as well. And that's why it's upside down here. Who is power, who is rich? No. Who is poor? Who is dead? Right? People can have because you have joined the kingdom of God, like others. What are the signs of the kingdom of God? God's word preached, teach, healings, signs, and wonders. Right? Shows part of them. You can see the kingdom of God is part of it. Keep growing and growing and growing. Like uh, most of us see, like you can see how precious, a uh, lot of your pressures and growing, right? So everybody is together together. Every towns and tribes and nations, all people get together. That's the kingdom of God. And and kingdom of God is a really big thing. It's a great commission. How can we do that? And then if you read and then Matthew twenty eight and eighteen, go and what make go go and make a disciple of all nations. And. I don't know how much you guys are familiar with, and then and so the gospel shows the kind of how we can uh, go to uh, reach out to nations, and we call the Great Commission. And Matthew twenty-eight, he said. Uh, uh, all authority in heaven and earth has been given to me. He means that Jesus Christ has all authority of the commission, great commission, to reach out to people, right? And then what? Go therefore and make a disciple of Asian law. And go and make disciples and what? Teach. That's a task of the mission, great commission. And the task of the Great Commission, go and baptize and teach them and make a disciple, right? And what about the scope of the Great Commissions? He said, make disciples of all nations. Make this attached the scope, all nations, not the, just the Samaritan, not the Judean people, not the Galileans, not around the region. All nations. Jesus Christ, and you will have been uh, my witness. Samaria and Jerusalem, Judea and Samaria, and the, the end of the world. And what is the promise of the Great Commission then? And teaching them of Jerusalem, all that I commanded you. And behold, I am with you always. That's the promise. I am with you always. What about duration of the Great Commission? Missions we have to do. Great Commission is missions, right? What we have to do and then, to the very end of the ages. And then what? I'm, I am with you all, always and to the end of the age and the time. Actually, oh yeah, according, according to these verses, and then what? The mission should going on and on and on without stopping until the end of the world when Jesus Christ comes back that's at the end of the world what about Mark? if we read uh, Mark yeah, 16 to yeah, chapters 9 to 20 the great commission is a kind of gravity of the whole and proclamation, gospel and 
there is urgency. Uh, there is no other gospel and urgency, but uh, there is urgency there and conditions, faith and baptism, rejection, condemnation, and then um, what about the, you know, if you respond to the gospel, there is a eternal life. That's a we were in consequence, eternal consequences. Now you can you can read that one and then what about do do so, so salvation historical significance of a great conditions huh? is from all the what prophets already said that according to the Bible. And then there is that one, the message of the Great Commission, and then and about Jesus Christ who died and uh, sin and, and raised again. It's from the latter beginning, it's not it just happened with Jesus Christ, from all the prophets, from the Bible, he mentioned. And, and the power of the Great Commission, the what? You will be witness, right? So look, yeah, we believe that look the road, the act, and the, uh, the book of Luke. Yeah, if you read and then see the law and uh, what happened. And if you read the John and John is what? How can uh, he stress the And Jesus Christ was sent by God and he sent out disciples. And if you read in Tony and mission is a mediation between you and you, between you guys, between Jesus Christ is a between, right? And just so yeah, I hope that you guys have read the Bible verses and then try to see the small yeah short description that I uh, put and then if you have a question and just let me know because yeah uh, we don't have enough time yet in detail so just think about the salvation historical overview it's really help you how God yeah prepare all things and work through and and you know, we we already said that in Old Testament creation and fall and uh, he called Abraham and forming the what kingdom of people of a nation and that is uh, through Abraham right and from the Israel and why so anticipation anticipation of a kingdom of uh, People coming to Israel, people coming to a uh, temple, people coming to Zion, temple is there for worshiping God. But as uh, God sent his God sent the, yeah, sent his son, begotten only our only son, and he started inaugurated what God's kingdom, started the kingdom of God. And then uh, from that time, it was the creation of the new kingdom, people from the all nations. That's what I expected. Early church to now this church. And then still going on. And then someday, consummation, and then if you read John and then what? Who can see? Different people, different tongues, and different nations come together worshiping God. That's a consummation. And the sign of the, the uh, kingdom of God, and we can see how uh, the kingdom of God's message is proclaimed, teach, right? And blind uh, open their eyes, both their eyes. And, and you are sick, you are healed. A lot of signs and wonders. And, and look at this, and then what? And they eventually, uh, leading the people from every nation and then 
the kingdom of God is about complete and then live together forever and ever. That's a basic salvation historical overview. Can you see that? What we saw and then look at this act and then we sort of uh, how great commission is described in each gospel and then if you see that the uh, gospel of the yeah, uh, act and then uh, how yeah gospel yeah gospel is kind of expanding to the people and the kingdom of yeah uh, creation of the kingdom of God and it means that just think of it uh, beyond the region of the uh, Israelite and and uh, Damascus and Antioch and then uh, all the way uh, area of the uh, in uh, Asia and Rome, right? If you read Acts and then there is kind of description and then just think about Acts one eight and we already read and then great mission movement gonna be happen, right? And Jerusalem, Judea, and Samaria, and the end of the world. If you, yeah, that's why. And chapter 1 to 7 is uh, all the work in Jerusalem. And the 7, and you can see the Samaria. And then you can see that the happening, some people came to and Judea at the bottom of the yeah. And then if you read the chapter 20, 10 to 28, and then you could see how Paul's kind of bring the gospel to the, all around the area, other countries. So we call them at the end of the world at the time. But nowadays, you know, we, the world is bigger than the town. So missions as a witness and then what? Witness to the end of the world. Not the geo, geographically, Maybe sometimes uh, a lot of people never heard of the gospel. Think about it. Nowadays, technology is available and social media is available, and that's why it's easier to reach out to people and proclaim the gospel. Here is a gospel way that, yeah, come to God, right? But people sometimes, barely, even though they hear it, they don't understand, like, you know, unity, yeah, unity from yeah, Ethiopia. Read the Bible, but they don't understand it. He said, how can I understand? You know, Philip said, do you understand it? But he said, how can I understand without help? And Philip explained. And then he believed that he got baptized right away. That's it. Historically, uh, here is a mission to the nation from around the uh, yeah, 830 Jesus Christ said it and then people uh, kind of yeah, Pentecost and the oh, Spirit uh, came down upon them and then eyes opened and then around the uh, yeah, 31, 32 is a Samaria, they reach out to Samaria and then Paul is a kind of 32, 33 is Arabia, he stayed there and then he teach the people and then what about and Paul's mission to Sicily and uh, Syria is uh, 33 and 42. Peter's uh, yeah, uh, mission to coastal area is a three part and, and then and there's a uh, Lydia, Sharon, Joppa and around the 34. And conversion, that is a Peter's mission, Cornelius, right? And that's a Gentile. Gentile. But uh, around the, the persecution and diaspora leading to the first yeah, predominantly Gentile church in Antioch eh, around the AD, uh, AD 41. 41. And what about possible departure of the 12 uh, of possible Jerusalem to the world around? Yeah, there's a lot of yeah, uh, anecdotes about 12 disciples. One of them, yeah, Thomas went to India and uh, yeah, and preached the gospel and someone is go and there and then there is yeah, around eventually yeah, the disciples kind of yeah, scattered to the around and 41, 42. 
Paul and Barnabas, the first mission, missionary, and what is uh, until his church is 41, and then that's a historical around and then record and then um, around 45, 47. Jerusalem town still around 48 uh, opened and then uh, Gentiles, they reported from Paul and then Gentiles and yeah, yeah, turning to God with the repentance, but their cultures are different, right? They are both, yeah, and they, uh, there's a lot of issues about they don't follow the, the circumcision and keep the base and all this stuff and then and give them basic guidelines, let them uh, have their own culture except uh, uh, immorality, sexual immorality, let them pro yeah, keep them away from sex sexual morality, not eating the blood food and then what, wow. right? And don't uh, wash the idols and don't eat the idol food, yeah, worshiping things and then like this and just to give them just four, yeah, four guidelines. They don't have to, yeah, uh, the disciple was a poor, our other disciple can, yeah, shouldn't impose what the Jewish custom. This uh, and uh, general epistles, Paul, yeah, Peter, yeah, first Peter is really uh, contains a lot of stuff and then. Holy Spirit is an excellent missionary document to which deal with the most basic question of our church in the world. Why? Right? Its existence in society and you and distinctive community with the totally new lifestyle. And show the right. And first Peter 2, if you read in chapter 2 and then and that's like a uh, uh, chosen race and royal priesthood, the holy nation, and people for God's own possession. So even though we are Gentile, yeah, we are Gentile, think about um, it's not a limit to the to the, to the, the, uh, uh, the Jewish people, Jewish people, but to all people who believe, right? chosen race and royal priesthood. Even though, yeah, we, we believe, I'm not a Jewish, but I believe in Jesus, I, I accept Jesus Christ my Savior, and then we believe that we are the chosen people. Race. And royal priesthood. Who can worship God and lead to God and holy nation before Christ's eyes. Right? That's the letters. What about the consummation? Okay, everything is done. What is the final celebration? And John, yeah, if you Revelation chapter 9, see the, uh, uh, imagine the uh, scenery. He said, he had vision, right? There is seven new songs saying, Worthy you are to take the scroll and to open it to sit. And for you were slain, Jesus Christ, and then by your blood you ransom people for God, for every tribe and language and people and nation. Every tribe. It's not limit. Jesus Christ didn't die for the world. Just to, Jewish people. And he died, he bowed, he ransomed everybody who believes. And uh, Revelation 1920, and you can see that one. Uh, yeah. 2015 and 15, and then I just sort of found the 1920. And the beast was uh, captured by Satan. And with, the, with in the final, yeah, a false prophet who is 
his you know, presence had done the signs by which he deceived those who are who had received the mark of the beast and those who watched this image, these two were thrown alive into the lake of fire that burned with sulfur. Final judgment. Who followed Satan, who followed uh, uh, evil, right? Who, 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 yeah, who will do or risk the mark, not get persecuted, and not to get the hardship, and then who wished the image, which image, who followed them, right? They're gonna throw into uh, eternal fire. That's the, the end of the history of the classification. And we we cast a yeah, complete kingdom is there and we Christians live there forever and ever. Yeah. Can you see that one? That's a basic uh, whole uh, story of the just think about it. and mission is we try to reach out to people across the boundary, the culture, right? It's a universal. It's not the America, it's not a Korea, it's not a China, it's not one of the countries. Mission is universal. That's the yeah, biblical foundation. I don't know uh, how much you guys uh, have quick presentation of the uh, biblical uh, background and then a uh, foundation. There's a yeah, really good books out there. So if you're really interested in uh, or like interested in, in uh, uh, yeah in studying more yeah biblical foundation of missions like uh, Christopher and um, his God's mission. And there's a good one of a book that you can read. And there's a lot of books out there. So if you are interested, and then maybe uh, just let me know. I can recommend some books that you can read. And then maybe uh, if you go to Amazon, and then you can see that kind of a small description, and then uh, what the book about. Because very. Uh, we need to understand the uh, understand the biblical foundation of the missions and the perspective. How God started uh, remember the all nations and he started and how can we uh, reach out to people and how gonna finish, right? That's the biblical foundation and then uh, maybe historical foundation is uh, you can see how what happened each time. I already shows a little bit around the 40, 50, uh, 30, 40, 50s, and then how the word of God is spread, yeah, to expand it and then spread over the uh, world and around the world, right? And um, I hope uh, you guys and then uh, had a kind of basic, just to remember the, the, you know, the uh, chart that I showed you, and then it gives you a very basic idea of a mission that I hope huh yeah yeah I think so because uh, I'll skip this one uh, Here is uh, Paul, yeah, I skip this one, how he traveled, yeah, uh, four times, and uh, Gentiles, and then he wrote a lot of letters, and that epistles, and then we could see that uh, how he uh, mentioned about religious visions, like, uh, multiple, yeah, 
and I think so it's going to like this one. Multiplication of one established churches and Romans and then necessity of the messenger. How you can hear who's who goes and yeah, who's the third the message. And the yeah, the Romans chapter you can see the one ten and the mission of the reconciliation. Uh, he said that we are the yeah the code for the, this ministry and then example to the believers and then non, around the area is the, the good way they can so their kind of yeah, uh, uh, news is spread all over the region around there and other countries and good example and unnamed person who had been yeah, encouraged to speak the word of God and then partnership in gospel and then Work, yeah. We are we are uh, different. Uh, we are we have a different ability and gift, and geologically and then maybe intellectually or in terms of ability, and then we can do it. And then there is a spiritual warfare, and then when uh, we kind of uh, uh, Satan always uh, uh, interrupt and discourage with the spreading the gospel and here and there and in all these countries, and then. We gotta fight back. How can we? How can that's a warfare, spiritual warfare, and it's not a policy. It's not just a, a political, economic, uh, uh, kind of a barriers. Maybe sometimes Satan use that one, but so there is a spiritual level, realm that we have to overcome, and yeah, there's a there's a lot of mentioned about. Uh, great missions, and then, and maybe if you read our textbook, you can get the more detail. And then, if you if you wanna read the others' perspective, but still all the same, and then you can see, right? And uh, I hope that uh, try to if you have time and try to read God's mission, one of the popular books nowadays. Christopher Wright, and and the book is different from the God's People's Mission, and that one is different from God's People's Mission. Uh, God's People's Mission, then uh, it's not a, a biblical foundation of the missions, but that one is how can you engage with the missions. So, so a little bit different. So far, I already shared with the, yeah, started with the other people, and then okay. So if you have any questions, let me know. And then you guys, and then uh, have uh, I wanna read more books, and just let me know. I can recommend some books that I know and I read, and then yeah, that's a brief yeah biblical foundation. That yeah, that's one of the whole semester class, but we just finishing yeah. One week, yeah. I hope that uh, you guys, uh, our mission is not just uh, made by the people's and just some people's yeah, work, but uh, we believe that God is mission of God, and by the mission uh, for the God's redemptive work and God sent sending activity, all the activity. Right? Sometimes we yeah, send yeah, people and do something, right? So who can do that? Yeah, who can understand that one? Yeah, basically, remember that uh, mission is a cause, not ours. We are the uh, uh, people God sent to do, right? Even though you have a great product in mission field and your church is a great product and be doing churches and centers and then keep doing support and well, it's not yours, it's a cost. It's not it's not your churches. Who can talk about that kind of topic? I remember that, but um, always mission is a should shouldn't be forget the what? Show the what? It is part of in actions and 
or right? So remember the uh, that's uh, the definition, that's a uh, uh, Bellingen definition, and then I think this is really helpful to remember that the God's mission, but we intentionally cross the borders, right? Uh, barriers to uh, to uh, share the gospel. Okay, so uh, I'm really uh, glad to learn about mission together. And then, uh, whenever you have a question, and then just let me know. I hope.